if there is a dynamic duo in the world of chess and if you want in the world of sports look no further than these two individuals that i have with me pragnananda and vaishali one achieved tremendous success in the world cup the other won the grand swiss in the women's section pragnananda created as much of a sensation when the lunar landing happened all if there was a lunar landing that was there at that time all eyes were on prag vaishali grand swiss straight out of the bolt out of the blue you had your moments in the world cup but then grand swiss you came through and you're now these two are in the candidates for the first time ever and first i'll start with you prag there were two viral photos that went after the world cup and during the grand swiss one nagalakshmi amma was really looking at you with pride and in the grand swiss you were looking over vaishali and you are analyzing the game what were you telling her like in through mind communication what were you telling her oh, this is the move that you have to do what were you discussing at that time uh, i'm not sure which picture that is when you are looking at uh, vaishali a uh, game yeah yeah at the grand swiss isle of man ah uh, i think that was uh, the the penalty made round and that was quite crucial because if she wins it's most likely that she would be uh, through to candidates and she had a winning position so i just looking at uh, and they were also in time trouble so i was just uh, looking at that game because they were anyway going to make few more moves so i just wanted to see uh, uh, like what they're going to do and yeah that's why i was just standing ashali when you and prag were growing up and you both were playing chess you are his chess inspiration did you ever believe that one day 14 november you would be here okay 14 november both of you sealed spot in the candidates did you ever dream of that situation ever yeah thanks a lot for your wishes and uh, okay uh, i mean the getting to the world championship has always been our goal like since we started playing chess but uh, we didn't expect it to happen together on the same year and it is very more special that this year the men women candidates going to happen together on the same place so uh, i mean what better to ask like our mother will be traveling with us for the tournament and i mean it's going to be great yeah what does Nagalakshmi Amma do when you are finished after tournament I know Prague you had a horrendous I mean chess world cup I'll tell you why tie breaker after tie breaker after tie breaker it takes a mental toll I mean physically also you must be exhausted after the end of the match when you go back to your room what does Amma do in that sense mm, nothing much I mean uh, after I go go back home yeah she just uh, um yeah no matter the result like she will not talk about the game um just i know that there is some good food there so that's something i can always uh uh can always g- go back uh, even if i lose yeah, i can have a good food um but yeah i think in terms of like when when i lost to for example to arjun i think she was saying that you know you can do like you can win the next game it's possible uh, just give your best it's fine um even if you lose but just give your best you can you'll get uh, one chance at least uh, try to take that i noticed in the world cup uh, prag that whatever games that you played most of them i mean if you look at it from the fifth round quarter finals onwards it went to tie breakers was that ideal for you or looking at the position that you were in maybe you said yes it had to go into tie breakers because somewhere down the line did it take a toll against carlson in the final you are all mentally fatigued after that did it take a toll or no you said i'm fine with it no i think um um tie breaks like the quarter finals um, i was fortunate to go into tie break and uh, semi finals also i was was in both those games and i had to defend and finals okay i mean i we both were um, totally out of energy at that point uh, uh we were just kind of making moves and um of course we were trying to focus give our best but it's not very easy when you are uh, already played for a month uh, almost every day uh, um especially these tie break games with tension and uh, with games itself being tough it's it's quite tough um so yeah i mean tie breaks I, i would say i was playing well but i think um i think experience was also kind of lacking from my side which, uh yeah which didn't go in my way but uh, i think overall in the tournament i was very happy with my play i think a uh, world cup the main aim is to qualify to the candidates which i did so that's all good 
now vaishali you unfortunately had some very close moments in the world cup but then it didn't come through unfortunately but in the grand swiss isle of man how did you decide to improve your game or what was the different strategy that you adapted at that time so the world cup is like a knockout format as we know like i got knocked out in the third round and this grand swiss is a swiss event like 11 round game tournament and uh, i mean even if you lose one game you get a chance to come back through the tournament but uh, for me i didn't lose even a single game uh, it went really smooth from the beginning i was in the lead and uh, uh, some like before this grand swiss tournament i had played qatar masters where i had made my final grand master now i think that uh, gave me some confidence to go into the women grand swiss tournament and i was really confident going uh, playing the tournament uh, overall and uh, uh, i was enjoy- playing i mean i was really enjoying playing the game and uh, uh everything put together i think the final result was like a lot when did you know that yes i think i might win the grand swiss tournament when was that one game was it against stan was it against anybody else that you felt that yes i think i might win the grand swiss uh, so the, uh, the tans game in the round 10 was very crucial uh, so after the game like many people told that uh, i might already been qualified to the candidates uh it was not clear but okay in few hours it was uh, it was clear that i'm already qualified for the candidates but uh, uh, my aim was to complete my grand master title where i was like few points away from the away from uh, completing the rating requirement and uh, uh, i know that the last round game win will give me the title so i was focused on that and uh, uh, last round i had a clear better position but uh, i got excited for the title and uh, some uh, okay i played few errors and uh, the game ended in a draw okay the draw gave me the tournament victory so i, I was anyway happy with the tournament win and everything so okay so the final question that i'm asking is now the world cup is there the cricket world cup is going on semi final the pressure of a semi final it's more than physical it's mental as chess grandmasters who master the art of mental pressure what is your advice to the indian cricket team how to cope up with big pressure i think they are all very experienced and uh, they have played lot of matches so they would know the pressure i think some pressures are a bit different because there you have like 50 60 000 audience watching the game you also know that so many people are watching online uh, on television and uh, so it's yeah the pressure might be like uh, immense there um, yeah just say just uh, let them enjoy their game and have fun give their best and Yeah. Okay okay so there you heard it folks from the dynamic duo themselves congratulations to both Vaishali and Prag all the best for the candidates and may the cup come back home yeah, thank, thank you, you. you match se jude aapke har sawal ka hum denge jawab janne ke liye har update live analysis special interviews download kijiye sports the camp